boosted ads versus the ads manager. What is the difference? Guys, Kim Barrett here. I wanted to talk to you about this today. I'm literally just sitting in the car, I just finished at the gym. Now, the reason why I wanted to do it here, right? I don't much one of those guys wants to just do videos in his car. Um, but the reason why I wanted to show you here, because I think I can really make this point stick by likening it to going and working out the gym. So my gym is here. And as you can see, it's in Kings Park in Perth. It's a pretty good venue. Now, one of the big differences that I see between Ads Manager and doing it through um, boosted posts is the professionalism and the ability to exceed what you're doing. And what do I mean by that? Well, let's think about if I was just out here in the park trying to work out, doing push-ups, running on the spot, burpees, jumps and stuff, yes, I would get a good workout, but for me, I want to get the most professional, the best workout I can. I want to pump weights. I want to lift all the heavy weights, um, you know, to get the guns. So for me, I want to do it in a professional environment where I have more options. Now, that really is what Facebook ads is all about. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to jump in the car. I'm heading to grab a coffee and then I'm going to head in to the office and I'll show you guys inside of Ads Manager what that looks like, the benefits, why, the different targeting options you have when you do it in a more professional sense. So let's jump in the car, let's roll to the office and I'll show you what I'm talking about. And now back in the office, I'm gonna show you the difference between Boosting and between Ads Manager. And really the main reason why we're doing this is because we want options. We want to have as many choices as we can to enable us to target our audiences better. So if we look at here, let's just say I'm on my page, I see a cool post and I want to boost it. Let's see what options we get. So I tap boost post. And then it comes up and we can see, we can do a few things here. We can add a button, um, we can target website visits. We've got a few options here. However, it's not really that much. So as you see, as we scroll down, the options that we have are somewhat limited, right? We can do a few things in here. Let's see what we can do. Um, so if we look here at the top, we've got obviously our budgets, period of days that we can run it for. Um, there's a few things that we can do. However, it's still not really, in my eyes, enough for what you need to be able to do. You set everything else up externally. If you set everything else up in another scenario, then yes, it kind of is okay, but still not really. So like, as you can see here, the very simple ones are very, very limited, but let's just say if we look in here, what we can do When we are rolling this up, you'll see the options that you have are not as dynamic and not as refined as when you're doing things. So there's a few things that don't allow you, that they don't allow you to do. So obviously we can do our normal targeting and interest. However, we can only exclude people here. It doesn't give us the option to narrow our audiences. So we can take people out, but we can't narrow them down. So really, it's not enough to have a proper, properly defined audience, even though Facebook will say it's defined. How defined is targeting everyone 18 to 65 in Western Australia? Not that defined in my eyes. So if we jump out of here and we're looking at this, um, also automatically it puts you on all placements, which we don't want either. Um, and it doesn't give you and the ability to refine this. And you'll see what options we have inside of Ads Manager is going to be way better than here. This is like Facebook Messenger, Instagram. Okay, but what about everything else? What about um, specific areas of Facebook, specific areas of Messenger, Instagram stories? Like you don't have all those options. So like I said, this is like running around in the park. This is like running around and not really getting the best outcome. So now what we want to do is jump into Ads Manager and I'll show you guys what it looks like in there. So now that we're in Ads Manager, let's have a little look at what we can do. Like this is where it gets a lot more exciting. You can do a lot more 
not cool, but you can just do better things here. I'll show you. So, like I said before, we want to give ourselves options. We want to give ourselves choices. And by doing this, like I mentioned um, earlier when I was at the gym, this is like, you can go, cool, you can do bench press, you can run on a treadmill, you can do squats, you can do deadlifts. You have all the options that you need versus just going, okay, well, all you can do is body weight exercises or all you can do is one thing. We want to give you the best chance at success possible. So you'll see when we come in here, all of our options become much, much, much more dynamic. So when we're looking at the audiences, obviously we can be hyper specific. We can put in a specific location by the street name. Uh, we can target the languages that they speak. Then when you see our detail targeting, what we can do is we can narrow our audience. So say we want parents who also like fitness, right? This is going to allow us to refine, refine, refine it nice and tight. For example, here, physical fitness. Great, we've got parents who are interested in physical fitness. We can narrow our audience down. We can make it smaller, more targeted, more specific. Um, then when it comes to our placement, we can also, as I said, um, expand. When it comes to our placements, we can choose exactly where on Facebook we want our ads to be shown. So we can adjust them. We show exactly where on Instagram we want our ads to be shown. Again, so we can run something specific for stories versus the news feed. Then the same for audience network and same for messenger. So if you're going through and you're utilizing ads and you're doing things like um, boosting the post just normally, the reason why and the difference between these two is the options that it give you. So the more options that you have, the better you can do with your audience, the more refined you can be. And most of the time, people don't take the time to think about this. Like we've had two clients, one who's never generated a lead before this morning, got his first lead uh, register and then book into his calendar for $15 by being able to use these extra options. And another person who was getting like leads for $200 plus, right, which is pretty expensive, was able to bring that down to like $30 to $50 again by utilizing these sections and, and uh, different areas that they can go in and target. It just means that you've got way more options and way more choices. So I highly recommend just seeing what's possible inside of Ads Manager as opposed to just boosting a post. Now guys, if you've enjoyed what you've heard today, thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you like this video if you enjoyed it. Make sure that you comment, you share with us uh, what you thought about it, anything that you wanna see in 2019. And then also, as always, subscribe so that you get to see everything first. Until next time, adios.